Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja. This is a Disney XD series uh, from 2012. It's Each episode is about uh, 25 minutes each. It says on IMDb there's like 73 episodes. I see two seasons here that total up to about 50. 24, yeah, 24, 26. Add up to about 50, so there must be a third season out there that uh, we haven't gotten on Disney Plus yet. Don't know. You might know better than I would because I've never seen this show before. I've heard about it. You know, I've seen things. And what really draws me to this mainly is the voice cast. Of course, John DiMaggio is in this. Uh, he's... Uh, I can't remember his name of his character. What is it? Hannibal McFist. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Hannibal... He's, like, got a translucent arm with, like, a robotic arm. By the way, he's Bender on Futurama with green goo in it and a brain with an eye on it it's whatever it's <laughs> he plays one of the main bad guys the first episode in, introduces a number of bad guys uh for randy who is a very new ninja uh in ninth grade every four years a new one is selected um although i find it very interesting that uh although it's, it says that i don't know this is very strange the guy who does the voice is Ben Schwartz, and you know who Ben Schwartz is. He's, uh, you probably know him, uh, maybe from Space Force, uh, from Parks and Recreation, of course, by, uh, John, Ra John Ralphio, and, uh, right now, uh, he's the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. So, yeah, in two of those, you know, those movies that came out in, it seems like, the last two years, uh, but yeah, he's, he's the voice of Sonic. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's done a lot of voice work. He's also partially the voice of BB-8, like, him and another guy together contributed to create the voice of BB-8 for uh, the Star Wars sequels. So, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of voices in this. Uh, Tim Curry even shows up as the sorcerer. Uh, the reason why I was kind of hesitating for a moment there is that somebody else is also listed as the voice of Randy for the same amount of episodes. So, I, I don't know. Uh, it's really hard to tell. I don't know what other voice, what other person would be why there'd be two actors doing the same voice. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is fun. It's very energetic. It's, uh, it's, it's got that level of weird, that uh, just abstract weirdness that just goes with exaggerating everything you would experience in, uh, in ninth grade. Uh, he, he's dealing with... Yeah, he's dealing with monsters that are the... Krakenstein as a half Kraken and half Frankenstein with six arms of all different types. Yeah, it's a little, it's really over the top. It's It's got that little Powerpuff Girls kind of thing, but with a 2012 music spin on it with that kind of guitars and scratch uh, DJ mix kind of stuff. I'm old, and that's the best way I can explain it. So, uh, <laughs> but it's it's animated animated by Tit Titmouse. So it, the, those are the guys who do. Uh, uh, <laughs> Why can't I think think of it? Uh, so much stuff on Adult Swim, but like Big Mouth also on, on Netflix. And uh, yeah, I don't know why my brain is blanking on so much um, of what they do. But yeah, chirp. Is they, they they do that, uh, <laughs> and the, the new Human Resources the spin off of Big Mouth on Disney Plus, and I hate myself. I've met the guys who run Titmouse. I've spent time hanging out with them, and I am completely blanking right now on everything they do, and they do so much. They've done Venture Brothers. That's one of the things they did uh, on Adult Swim. Uh, but yeah, it's, they, they do some, a lot of the otter stuff. And this, of course, is very kid-friendly, very, uh, it's Disney. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of gross-out humor, fart humor, um, just awkwardness, silliness that, uh, the two, that, that, uh, Randy and his best friend, Howard Wienerman, of course, he has to have a name like Wienerman, it's very juvenile. <laughs> But it's the kind of humor that you would expect a ninth grader to have. So, yeah, uh, played by uh, Andrew Lewis, something like dot, 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 Andrew Lewis Caldwell. So, yeah, it's, uh, there's so many people in this, like I said. Tim Curry, it, he was it, he was uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Frankenfurter from uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show and 
uh, so many other things. Look up Tim Curry if you ever want to know. He was in Clue. He was in, uh, uh, of course, it, depending on how you uh, identify with Tim Curry, it tells you how old you are. So, tells people how old you are. Anyway, uh, yeah, lots of great voice casts. I only watched one episode, but the thing is, each of these 25-minute episodes are split into two stories, two separate things. Uh, so in the first one, we get to meet a bunch of a bunch of evil bad guys who are basically just out. They know about the ninja, and they're out to, to destroy him because he's the new ninja, and they don't need any, any other reason than that just to destroy him. And the second story deals with a kid who is infected by the sorcerer, played by Tim Curry, who then transforms him into a beast because he wasn't allowed to play the triangle in the band. There was no triangle solos in the marching band, but he doesn't understand that. It, it, it doesn't doesn't necessarily end with a lesson learned or anything else in any of these stories. Normally there's like, oh, I learned about friendship. Oh, I learned about sharing. I learned about whatever kind of things. There really isn't any of that uh, for the most part. At least it's not it's not overt. It's it, it may be more subtle that I just didn't catch. I don't know. Uh, because the kid that the turn the monster ends up, you know, naked and embarrassed in front of his peers, which, you know, he was just a poor nerdy band kid and now he's even more distraught. It didn't seem right. Um, what we do learn, well, what Randy learns is when he's in the middle of a fight and losing everything else, he learns to turn to his texts, the book that teaches him all about how to be a ninja, and clues are, appear in it that tell him, uh, in usually in somewhat vague terms, on how to deal with the threat at hand. And so it, it's maybe the message is, go look at books to deal with problems. I, I don't know. It's, it could be anything. Uh, but yeah, I only watched one episode. Uh, there are at least two seasons, probably three. I imagine they'll be adding the third one at some point, unless it's just not meant to be. I don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah I, I recommend it. I, I, I find it funny. I don't know if I'm really going to watch more of it. I think it's the kind of thing I think I would add just randomly. I love Ben Schwartz, and I love the, the uh, so many of the people in this. John DiMaggio, of course. Great Griffin. Uh, but yeah, it's... God, there's more people in this. Uh, D. Bradley Baker, of course, who shows up in everything. April Stewart, who, who, he, she's just a voice in South Park. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, Sarah Hyland from uh, from uh, Modern Family. She appears in a few episodes. Megan Mullally, good grief. Uh, oh, John, John, Joel McNeil. Joel McHale. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and Jim Rash. Joel McHale and Jim Rash. Both of them from Community make appearances. Uh Jeez, yeah, it's it's a who's who. Richard Kind, Neil Flynn, John Oliver shows up as well. It's a who's who of voiceover people and act, comedic actors that you know and love. Uh, for that reason, I think I'd watch it. But uh, yeah, I, it's, I'm not going to check it off just yet. Uh, I have so many that I have not even scraped the surface of that I've put on my to-watch list. So hmm, we'll hold, hold off on it for now. I can't do everything but uh we can pick tomorrow's episode let's try that 149 149 <clears throat> 149 oh. 149 <laughs> this won't be controversial at all <laughs> um i knew this was coming up at some point it had to happen at some point but I didn't know if it would be while we were still dealing with a pandemic. Well, at least part of our country is dealing with it. The other half isn't. But well, I'm not going to go into that right now. <laughs> we're going to watch the documentary tomorrow called Fauci. So, yeah. I, I'm not going to say any more today. Let's leave that for tomorrow. Tomorrow's episode is Fauci, a documentary on that man on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. See you back here tomorrow. Bye.